Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Fiat or Alfa Romeo. If you have one of those and you want to know the symptoms of bad catalytic converter, how it can affect your car, top five symptoms of bad catalytic converter, uh, we will explain that in this video today and we will explain how driving your car with a bad catalytic converter can practically destroy more components and may destroy even your engine. All that will be covered in this video today. Uh, now, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every Every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can <gasps> all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos now uh, if you guys need to buy any parts tools for your fiat or alfa romeo check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money so the catalytic converter okay usually if you look at your engine okay on the front side here we have a turbo engine so it's right here where the turbo is on the back side is the intake manifold most of the times uh, on one side will be the intake manifold on the other one will be the catalytic converter and if we come underneath the car okay we will explain right here is the exhaust flex pipe you come right here the last oxygen sensor where you see it guys right before it is where your catalytic converter is located uh, why we mention fiat and alpha because practically it's built by the same company guys okay uh, fiat alpha share their designs platforms and uh, another thing for instance that 1.4 turbo engine has been used in multiple probably five models of fiat and about three or four models of alfa romeo the symptoms of bad catalytic converters will be practically the same for any car, not just Fiat and Alfa Romeo. When they fail, one thing that you can experience is the smell of rotten eggs or sulfur chemical coming out of the exhaust pipe, tailpipe. If guys you smell rotten eggs, okay, uh, sulfur, it could be a sign of a failing catalytic converter. Number two. You may experience reduced horsepower, not being powerful enough your engine. This is due to the fact that if the catalytic converter is clogged up, uh, exhaust gas will not be able to move quickly out of there. It will put back pressure and that will reduce your horsepower. And as a result, your car will start burning more fuel as well. You will notice that the fuel economy will struggle. Okay, your car will be using more fuel. Uh, now, that uh, back pressure can actually cause more uh, damages such as burn valves, uh, uh, in, uh, exhaust valves guys, and that can destroy your cylinder head as well. Something else, okay, you may experience black smoke coming out of the tailpipe because of a failing catalytic converter and because your car will be running with a rich fuel mixture because of the failing catalytic converter. As a result, okay, uh, you have more fuel in the exhaust and the failing catalytic converter, you can notice black smoke coming out of the exhaust, kind of like a rich fuel mixture. Next, you may experience, guys, excessive amount of heat building where the catalytic converter is. We've seen them, some of those, when they fail, they turn glowing red. That's how hot they can get because gas cannot come out. It's keep accumulating practically heat and it will get really hot. So uh, in some cases, you may notice excessive amount of heat where the catalytic converter is located. That can cause more uh, uh, more trouble such as melted wires guys putting stress on the cooling pipes intake hoses radiator fans anything close to the catalytic converter and eventually more things can fail so fix it fix it on time hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time